Hey friends, welcome to Only Little Coder. Today in this PyScript tutorial, we are going to learn how to read a CSV with Pandas using PyScript. Especially, we are not going to read the local CSV. Rather, we are going to read a CSV from that's hosted on somewhere in the website. Imagine you have got a cloud service provider and you want to read a CSV from there. Or you have a CSV file on some GitHub repository and you want to read from there. And that is exactly what we are going to do in this video. So first of all, as you know, anytime we are going to use PyScript, there are certain things this, that we need to load. The first thing is we need to load PyScript CSS. Next, we need to load PyScript JavaScript, uh, the, the file. So these two are mandatory. So you can see that I've already enclosed this in my head. One thing that you might notice that I have not used in any of my previous videos is a dependency Python environment file. So what is this doing? So this pyenv is for environment dependency management and pyenv helps you in telling this py script what are the Python libraries that you need. Now you might ask me, can I use any Python library that I want? No, you can't use any Python library that you want. Why? Because you can use Python library that are available only using Pyodide. Pyodide. So you can use Python libraries that are currently supported by Pyodide. If the Python library is not supported by Pyodide, then you cannot use Python library, any Python library within your PyEnv. So please make sure before you want to use any library that it is available in Pyodide, then make sure that you use it. Otherwise you might hit some environment dependency issue. So given that you know that you have already verified that this library, especially Pandas is available in Pyodide. So let's use Pandas. So pyenv open and close. And then we have got Pandas inside it. Now inside my body, I've got an h1 tag that I just using it for title. I'm saying read CSV with Pandas using PyScript. So at this point, I've got the h1 tag ready. So now I want to give a placeholder where I want to write the final output after reading the CSV file. So um, this is nothing, just but just a placeholder, which we're going to use to replace something that we're going to write from the attributes of um, data frame, just to make sure, just to tell us that, you know, we successfully managed to read the CSV file, nothing else. Now is the main part where we have the pie script. So pie script open, pie script close. So now is the place where we are going to write our Python code. And if you are a regular Python data science user, you might already know that this is a cakewalk for you, except there is a small twist. Okay, so first of all, import pandas as PD. Very good, as neat as you can ever write. The next thing is you might be tempting to do pd.read underscore CSV and then just put the URL name, but that will not work here. Why? Because PD dot read underscore CSV when you give a Python you when you, when you give a URL, I think it uses um, request library to get the content or URL. I think it uses either URL or request. I'm not quite sure. The problem is both these libraries not are not available with Pyodide. So if you want a library, Pyodide, how did I spell it wrong? Pyodide. Yeah, if you want to open read URL content, then you need to say from pyodide.http import open underscore URL. Just to repeat, pd.read underscore CSV when you give a URL by default, I think it either uses request or URL lib. I'm not very sure about it. So those two libraries are not available in Pyodide. Pyodide is the engine that is powering PyScript. So for you to use for you to read any URL and then get the CSV content, you cannot do it using the normal pandas read underscore CSV. Rather, what you want to do is you want to say from pyodide.http import open URL and you're going to first use open URL to read the content of the URL and then you pass on that content to read.csv, read underscore CSV. So you can do this in two steps if you want, like you can, if, if you want. You can keep this separately. You can say URL content, URL content equals, and then you can say URL content. So just, just like how you would uh, typically do scraping or typically do a HTTP request. You can do this in two steps if you want. So first I'm going to read the content, right? Second, I'm putting the content inside this URL underscore content object. And now I'm passing on the URL underscore content object to my pd.read underscore CSV. So at this point, let us assume that the read underscore CSV worked and then we have got a data frame inside. 
So now there are multiple ways for you to verify how the data frame, whether the data frame has been successfully read. One you can do print of DF. If you do print inside PyScript, this is almost equivalent of your JavaScript console.log. So on JavaScript, if you do console.log, you would be able to see this on the browser's console. But you know, that's again, you have to do inspect element and see this. So I would not prefer this rather. I would say, let's keep a component at the front end where we can write something. And that is exactly why we kept this component. So now what we are going to do now is we are going to read the CSV. Okay. And then we are going to say, take the CSV shape, which is dimension rows and columns, and then write it in this place. And how do you tell PyScript to write it in this place? You're first reading the DOM element, you're accessing the document element. And now you're saying CSV dot write to write in that exact spot. So let me save this code and then let me open my browser. You can see what, what am I talking about? So you can see at this point, it, the title is visible read CSV with pandas using PyScript. But at this point, it's going to load the libraries. It's going to do all the work. And then you can see it has successfully read. And then it is saying there are 53,940 rows in columns. So our read underscore CSV successfully worked. Let's go one step ahead and then see, can we actually write the CSV's head? So I'm going to change the shape and I'm going to say CSV head and I'm going to save it and then go back to my browser and then wait for it to do the action. So let's, let's see what is happening. It's, it's loading. If you want, I can show you the, I can show you the inspect element. Okay. Yeah. If I show the inspect element, you can actually see what all things were happening. So if I go to console, you, you can see what all things were happening here. You can in fact see the data frame. You can see all the details, the libraries, pandas, numpy, everything is being loaded. So it's, this is what is happening. But yeah, fortunately you can see carrot, cut, color, clarity, depth. So this is a very popular diamond data set. If you have ever used diamond data set and we have successfully managed to give uh, pr print the data frame um, and and you know there are certain options like two underscore html two underscore markdown you can try these options with pandas data frame but you know i'm not getting into that area so so far what we have managed to do is we have managed to successfully read the url okay so using pyodides http open url and then we have given that content to pandas read underscore csp and then we have successfully managed to display successfully managed to print the CSV file. So what we can do next is you can do all sort of CSV manipulation. Like for example, um, in, in, instead of doing this, let's say you want to count, count the carrot value, sorry, cut. Okay. So I can say now cut, okay. Dot value counts and I can save it and then see if it's going to show something. Let's, let's for, wait for us to see if it can work. So if it works, then we have successfully, okay. So it, it has worked saying ideal is 21,551. So the only thing that you would see is that it's not, it's not a very formatted table. In that case, you need to convert your result into data frame and then you need to do it. Or there are other ways for you to actually list a um, very pretty table using HTML. But the, the point is the objective that we want, we had at the start of this uh, video is to learn how to read a CSV file using pandas. And then we have successfully managed to do it. Just one more thing, like right now, what we have done is we have used it. We have used a URL and then we have read, but if you don't want to use a URL, all you have to do is you need to make sure that the file, the file is in the root directory, like where your HTML file is there, or you can use a relative path and then you can just simply read it. So just to repeat again, if the file, the CSV file is not available on the cloud or anywhere on the internet, all you have to do is make the relative path. If it is in the root directory, just give the file name. If, um, if it is somewhere else, make a relative path and then you can use the file. But in that case, you need to make sure that you deploy the CSV file as well. If you're going to put this code somewhere, but otherwise this, this is a very simple code um, where we started the loading the PyScript components. We defined that we defined the environment dependency that, um, that, that we want, uh, that we want pandas. And then we try to read import pandas as PD from pyroid.http open URL and then we read the content and then given it to the pandas read csv read underscore csv function and then we have ultimately successfully managed to read the csv and also started doing some kind of tabular manipulation operation so i hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to read csv with pandas using pyscript see you in the next video peace